College Algebra, Topic 2.6, we'll be solving rational inequalities. This is rational because of that big fraction bar there. Inequalities because we're using less than or greater than signs. Okay, now, first of all, we want to um, set this equal to zero or set this side equal to zero. So we're going to bring the one over to the other side. So this will become x plus 4 all over 3x minus 1 less than or equal to 0. And now from here we establish that since this term right here is less than 0, numbers that are less than 0 are negative numbers. So we'll be looking for negative answers. Alright, from here I want this to become the, um, this to have the same denominator so we can combine these two terms. So I'm going to take my negative 1 and I'll multiply it with I'll put it over 1. I'll multiply it with a 3x over 3x. That'll give me x plus 4 over 3x minus 3x over 3x. This is all less than or equal to 0. Now we have a negative 3x and a positive x. So when we combine these, the negative 3x and a positive x become negative 2x plus 4 everything's over 3x and less than or equal to 0. <coughs> now from here we'll split the numerator become um, negative 2x plus 4. The numerator always follows the um, sign. Let's see here. And that pen is not writing. So it always follows the sign. So that'll be equals to 0. The denominator, 3x, is always not equal to. So we'll always have the not equals to for the denominator. <coughs> okay, now let's begin to solve. Minus 4 minus 4, I get negative 2x equals negative 4, divide by negative 2, x equals 2. Over here, to divide both sides by 3, we get x does not equal 0, because 0 over 3 is 0. So those are two answers, 0 and a 2. We're going to put those two answers on a number line. Zero and two. Okay, now let's look back and see if they're open or closed. Since the two, sorry, the zero right here, there's a not equal sign, that will be open. The 2 has an equal sign that will be closed. Okay, And now we need to test each of these areas, um, whether they're going to be negative pieces or positive pieces. And we're looking for the negative pieces. So, oh, sorry. Brace this up. All right, so let's begin to look for, let's see. This, I'm going to test, use a test point of negative 100 for this area. For this area right here, I'm going to use a test point of 1. And for this area right here, I'm going to use a test point of positive 100. All right, so let's begin with a negative 100. And I'm taking negative 100 and putting it into this one right here. So 2 times negative 100, um, two, uh, sorry, negative 2 times negative 100 is negative 200, plus 4 means that this is going to be positive. A negative 100 times a 3 is negative 300, which is negative. So that will be a positive divided by a negative, which ends up saying that this area right here has negative answers. And this is good because this is what we're looking for. We're looking for negative areas, so this, is, this area is fantastic. The next area we're going to use a test point of 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, plus 4 is positive 2, so that's going to be a positive. 3 times a positive 1 is positive. So we have a positive answer divided by a positive answer, which means this area is positive. This area is no good because, again, we're looking for negative areas. So we can't use anything in here. Okay, Over here, we're going to use the test point of 100. Negative 2 times 100 is negative 200, plus 4 is still negative. And 3 times positive 100 is positive. So a negative divided by a positive means that this area will be negative. And we are looking for negative areas, so this area is good. So we want this area right here, which is positive, 
and we want this area right here, which is, sorry, this area right here is negative, and this area right here, which is negative. Therefore, we'll, we'll say that the solution will be negative infinity to zero, open, union, closed at two, to positive infinity with a parenthesis. And that would be the solution of the original inequality, x plus 4 all over 3x is less than or equal to 1.